بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے دس از لیکچر نمبر فائیو آف جنرل اناٹمی اینڈ دا ٹاپک از نروس سسٹم اینڈ اٹس ڈویژنس آئی ایم ڈاکٹر کلیم اللہ ڈیمانسٹریٹر اناٹمی ڈپارٹمنٹ جی کے ایم سی سوابی دی نروس سسٹم is a controlling and coordinating system it controls and regulates the body activities it adjusts the individual with the surroundings and it has the property of sensitivity conductivity and responsiveness the divisions of uh, nervous system The nervous system is categorized into structural and functional categories. The structural organization, the central nervous system uh, and the peripheral nervous system. The, uh, the central nervous system uh, is composed of the brain in the spinal cord and, and uh, the peripheral nervous system, they, it is composed of the uh, cranial nerves the 12 pairs of cranial nerves which arise directly from the brain and the spinal nerves these are 31 pairs and they directly arise from the spinal cord the ganglia these are the clusters of neurons uh, neuronal cell bodies and they are located outside the central nervous system the functional organization of the nervous system the nervous system is composed of two main components functionally the sensory and the motor component the sensory component transmits information from the periphery to the central nervous system and they contain receptors in the peripheral uh, tissues the somatic the sensory nervous system is still further divided into somatic sensory and the visceral sensory the somatic sensory are the voluntary uh, is the voluntary part and the visceral sensory is the uh, involuntary part of the uh, sensory uh, division then the motor are the efferent division it transmits information from the central nervous system to the uh, rest of the uh, body the it is still further la- divided like the sensory into motor and uh, autonomic motor and somatic motor the autonomic motor is uh, involuntary and the somatic motor is voluntary under our own control the functional division of nervous system sensory and motor the sensory uh, arises in uh, the periphery that is in the skin and it goes to the posterior hand cells of the spinal cord from the posterior hand cells the impulse passes through the intermediate neurons to the anterior hand cells and from the anterior hand cells the motor nerve arises which goes direct toward directly toward the uh, m- uh, target organ whether it is a muscle or a gland the somatic motor reflex and the autonomic motor reflex the somatic i told you in the uh, previous slide the autonomic motor reflex in this case the uh, sensory fibers they goes toward the dorsal hand cells passes through the intermediate and then the lateral hand cells and then the uh, uh, signal uh, leaves through the mo- motor hand cells the interior hand cells through the motor nerve uh, and then passes through the sympathetic chain ganglia and directly goes toward the uh, target organ that is the viscous the nerve cells the nervous tissue is composed of two distinct cell types the neurons 
which are excitable cells and the glial cells which are non excitable the neurons they initiate and transmit the impulse and the glial cells they provide support and protection to the neurons the characteristics of neurons the neurons have a high metabolic rate neurons have extreme longevity extremely long neurons are typically non mitotic the neuron structure a typical neuron has a cell body soma or perikaryon the dendrites the axons the collateral are the branches the axon terminal are the telodendra and the synaptic knobs the classification of neurons structurally neurons are classified into uh, three types the basis is number of the processes the unipolar neurons the neuron have single process and these unipolar neurons are present in the spinal ganglia that is the uh, dorsal root ganglia the bipolar neurons these neurons have two processes and these are present in the retina and nasal mucosa the multipolar neurons have multiple processes and these are pyramidal neurons present in the cerebral cortex purkinje neurons in the cerebellum and motor neurons in the anterior horn cells of the spinal cord the functional classification functionally the neurons are classified into five the sensory receptor cells the sensory or the afferent neurons the enter neurons are the association neurons are so called the intermediate or international neurons the fourth number is the motor neurons uh, are the effector neurons the fifth is, is the neurosecretory cells the sensory receptor cells they detect energy changes in the environment and these are present in the rods and cones in the retina the hair cells in the cochlea of the ear the olfactory receptors in the nose and the sensory receptor cells in the skin the sensory uh, receptors they receive the information the information or the message passes through the sensory neuron passes through the dorsal root ganglia enters the posterior horn cells passes through the intermediate neurons or the association neurons enters the the signal enters the inter uh, interior horn cells or the motor uh, neurons and the motor nerve leaves and also called the effector uh, nerve and it goes towards the target organ the fifth number of functional classification is the neurosecretory cells they secrete hormones and similar substances and these are found in the hypothalamus and in the adrenal uh, medulla the glial cells also called supporting cells are the neuroglia the neuroglia uh, is present in the cns and the pns or the peripheral nervous system these are smaller than the neurons capable of mitosis they do not transmit impulse because they are non excitable cells they protect and nourishes the neurons 
they provide supporting framework they outnumber the neurons any they are more in number from the neurons they are about half of the volume of the nervous system types of the glial cells the types of glial cells are two present in the central nervous system and those present in the peripheral nervous system in the central nervous system the glial cells are called the astrocytes the ependymal cells the microglia and the oligodendrocytes and in the uh, glial cells in the peripheral nervous system are the stellate cells and the neurolimocytes are the schwann cells the glial cells of the central nervous system the astrocytes they help in the formation of blood brain barrier they control the entry of substances in the brain the ependymal cells the ependymal cells circulates the csf or the cerebro spinal fluid the microglia the microglia are phagocytic in nature and the oligodendrocytes they form myelin sheath the these cells are given uh, in the diagram in the given in the slide the glial cells of the peripheral nervous system these are two in number the stellate cells and the schwann cells the stellate cells covers the uh, body or the soma in the ganglia of the dorsal root or the sensory ganglia and the schwann cells they form a myelin sheath which wraps around the uh, axon which provide support to the axon and which helps to speed up the impulse in the axon the synapse where the uh, uh, the axon terminates whether it is upon the an organ or uh, an upon a, a nerve the transmission of impulse from one to another neuron is through the uh, synapse the presynaptic neurons and the post synaptic neurons the presynaptic neurons they transmit impulses towards the synapse and the post synaptic neurons they conduct impulses fr- away from the synapse the types of synapses these are three exodendritic whenever the axon ends upon a dendrite exosomatic whenever the axon uh, ends upon a the soma or the body of another neuron the exoaxonic when the axon uh, synapses with another axon thank you students hope you would have followed me wassalam till next meeting